If you want to know the best crime movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2023. Is that what I'm worth, Richard? $60,000 a month. I'm offering you an opportunity. Number 10. To Catch a Killer, directed by Damien Zifron. Only one person can catch this disturbed being, but it will cost them everything. Eleanor is a talented but troubled police officer fighting the unspeakable demons of her past. But when she is recruited by the FBI's chief investigator to take part in a nationwide manhunt for set assailant, her tortured inner psyche might be the only way to predict his next move. Was it because the fireworks stopped? And so there was no more cover for the gunshots? Yeah, maybe. Bullshit. Don't patronize me. Tell me what you think. I think he got his fill. Number nine. If I were to hire you to work for me, how do you think it would end? Sharper is a crime thriller film directed by Benjamin Karen. Accumulated wealth will be torn apart in this spy classic inspired tale of lies and betrayal. When a con artist plans the scheme of a lifetime, he takes on Manhattan billionaires. He knows it will get dirty, but even he is surprised when the grunge of the deep buried past is uncovered. I want a year's salary up front. That can be arranged. I'll just transfer the money. Transfer the money, no. What, so I can pay taxes? Hire an accountant? No. I want cash up front. Number eight. You like being in other people's business. I'm really beginning to like this place. The Equalizer 3 is an action thriller film directed by Antoine Fuqua. This final installment delivers an action-packed thriller set in the rustic vineyards of southern Italy, where the seasoned vigilante finds himself at home. But he discovers his friends are under the control of local crime bosses. As he confronts these ruthless opponents, the film escalates into a gripping battle of justice and revenge, offering a thrilling and satisfying end to the series. I'm starting to believe from the bottom of my heart that this is where I'm supposed to be. So, whatever it is that you and your friends do, please do it somewhere else. Number seven. You find her attractive? Which one? Reptile is a crime thriller film directed by Grant Singer. Stepping into a captivating crime drama where a seasoned New England detective investigates a young real estate agent's murder. As he delves deeper, the case not only tests his professional skills, but also begins to unravel the carefully constructed illusions of his own life. This journey into a community's dark underbelly offers a profound exploration of crime, guilt, and the complexities of the human psyche. I'm warning you, man. Don't let me fucking catch you. How'd it go? Done. Should we hit the floor? Uh, I'm okay. Peter, you wanna go? Number six. Sound of Freedom, directed by Alejandro Monteverde. Inspired by true events, we follow the thought-provoking story of a former government agent turned vigilante in a daring mission to rescue hundreds of children from sex traffickers. With powerful performances and an urgent narrative, this movie shines an authentic light on one of the darkest criminal horrors of our time, while showcasing unwavering determination and the pursuit of justice. All of a sudden, I'm hit by this tidal wave, this tsunami of darkness. And I know I'm the sadness in her eyes, me. Number five. Having prepared myself for this moment for so long, I failed to believe that it would ever arrive. The Killer is an action thriller film directed by David Fincher. Deeply fixated on perfection, this suspense-filled journey offers a reflective take on the assassin genre and follows an elite hitman who meticulously plans his murders. However, when a planned murderer goes awry, his world and profession crumble, thrusting him into the darkest abyss. Now, it's one man against the world in this intense story of redemption, loyalty, and the high stakes of a double life. You expected to sit across from me and feel nothing but reassured, like that recent day when you shouldered your weapon and somehow missed. Number four. Ein schöner Sound geworden. Aber wenigstens Sommer. Jetzt nicht mehr nur Beton, sondern Sonne und Beton, ja? Sun and Concrete is a German coming-of-age crime film directed by David Wendt. This compelling drama, set in the hot summer of 2003 Berlin, follows four friends as they struggle to survive amidst drugs, gangs, rap, violence, and boredom. Their lives take a drastic turn when they make a decision leading to serious consequences. 
capturing the essence of teenage rebellion and the harsh reality of urban life. This film is a raw, unflinching look at the journey to adulthood. Was mit den Computern aus der Schule? Wir brechen in die Schule ein und klauen die Dinger. Das wird so einfach. Alter, das sind 10.000 für jeden. Die einfach so warten. So wie verdienen normale Leute in einem Jahr. Dicker, was ist los bei euch? Number three. You're uh, most suspicious yeah. death, yeah. yeah, and your team was assisted because you were the only person there. Okay. Anatomy of a Fall is a French courtroom drama thriller film directed by Justine Triet. Utilizing striking filmmaking techniques and a collaborative synergy of writing and directing that transcends ordinary cinema, Anatomy of a Fall delves into the mysterious death of a beloved husband. Found dead by his blind son, the truth remains elusive. All we know is that he fell from a great height and a suspicion surrounds his wife. Now, looking for a stranger who walks in, kills him while you were sleeping right above and Daniel was up for work is a shitty strategy. Samuel had no enemies that Stop, make stop. I did not kill him. Number two. John Wick, Chapter 4, directed by Chad Stahelski. Continuing the epic action saga that defined the genre, John Wick Chapter 4 is a non-stop action ride with masterful crafted fight scenes you won't forget. When the legend finally figures out a way to defeat his greatest enemy, the High Table, he must face off against a new enemy with powerful alliances across the globe and forces that turn old friends into deadly enemies. You want to kill him? You want to kill him? I want to kill him? <laughs> what about you, Mr. Vic? Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Three women were strangled over the last two weeks. I don't see the interest in the nobodies. Who do you think our readers are? And that's just it. Why would anybody go around killing three nobody women? And how do you plan to find that out? I have been all my life uncharmed by your kind. My kind? Opportunists to prey on the vulnerable, no? You don't believe in the soul's endurance after death. I have lost my faith. How sad for you. And never mind who you was with. See, Dave. If I get any more quieter, I won't even have a f***ing voice at all. No, I'm not about to sit here and argue with you. That's real easy for you to say, because you get to be the saint, right? You get to be the saint while I'm stuck here fighting these wars all See by myself. What? <laughs> Number one. Oh, I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. Hmm. Killers of the Flower Moon is an epic Western crime drama film directed by Martin Scorsese. Based on a true story, this haunting tale of crime delves into the dark history of a series of murders of indigenous people in the Osage Nation during the 1920s. Unveiling a shocking conspiracy, it exposes the Osage people's newfound wealth after oil was discovered on tribal land as a deadly target. Uncover buried secrets, greed, and an intricate web of deception in this gripping cinematic exploration. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.